this weather because you are blockheads and you love the big throwdown here at the Meltdown Winter Ice Festival. Are you having a good time in this beautiful weather? All right, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right to the show tonight. But first of all, I want to see a show of hands. Who are our first timers tonight at their first ever Meltdown Throwdown? Look at all these first timers. Welcome them to their first show, everybody, because they're about to have a great time. We're going to run over the simple, simple rules of the Meltdown Throwdown really quick, so we're gonna make you a veteran right away. Rule number one, you guys know this, we have lots and lots of fun, right? Yeah. Rule number two is we make lots and lots of noise. Can you do that? Yeah. And rule number three is we just keep repeating rules number one and two. We also have a special nickname for people that love to come to the big Meltdown Throwdown. What do we call those people? Blockheads, because the blockheads know that when the ice blocks go up, the fight goes down right here at Elstro Plaza. We are so thrilled you are here tonight, and we have a heck of a show for you because a couple of reasons. First of all, these ice carvers are getting a challenge for the first time ever since ice fights even started. They are going to go three 10-minute rounds. They've never had to work this fast in all the time they've been doing this. So we've got a new challenge in front of them tonight. So we're going to move quick. Second of all, at their last fight, we had a big showdown where the rookies took on the veterans. We've got some ice-carving rookies on these teams now. They wanted to show the veterans up, and they won. The rookies took home the golden chainsaw. Now we've shaken up the teams a bit. Those two rookies are going to come out together. One of our veterans is going to join them. And then two of our veterans are going to try to take them on tonight. Are you ready for a great show this evening? Yeah. All right, let's keep it going because we got our golden chainsaw right here. Let's introduce our teams starting with Team Ice. Please welcome from Team Rookie, Sammy Ice, the doctor and the man himself, Eric, the animal Team Ice tonight. Eric the Animal has been here every single year that we have done the Meltdown Throwdown. Welcome back. It sounds like we got Eric Marsh on the mic. Welcome, Eric. How are you tonight? Hey, how's it going, Dave? Man, uh, yeah, I'm great. You know, every year we get surprise weather for this event, and this year's no different. So I'm glad you're helping out over there. Thank you. Good to have the crowd out here, man. That's right. All right, are you guys ready to welcome Team Fire? We've got more of our veterans coming out here. Please welcome Dean, the Dragon, Danny Bloss, and the Nibinator. <laughs> Team Fire. Steve the Dragon, Eric the Animal, they have been here every single year to put this show on for you. Make them feel back at home here again in Richmond. Steve the Dragon always here to have you, but oh look, your physicality is starting. It is starting before the stalls even go up. Sammy Ice coming to break it up. The fight is already underway on the stage. They're taking this pretty personal. All right, let's count Wild Man Wyatt in, and we're going to start round one and have three 10-minute rounds. Count it down, Blockheads. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round one is on the way. Stalls up. Let's go, Ice Fighters. It looks like the top two. Have fun. Let's hear it. Let's see ice. We've got 35 pound chunks of ice hitting the stage almost immediately. What's up, Dave? How you doing? Thanks for being here. We appreciate that. Everybody's making it work tonight. The weather didn't want to cooperate. That doesn't stop us at the Meltdown Winter Ice Festival. It's an all-weather event, so it looks like the Nibinator is going to work on the back of this carving rather than the front, and the Doctor is working on the front side. An interesting strategy right out of the gate, and I want to tell you, Blockheads, because I try to keep you informed on what's going on up here in the stage. This team, Team Fire, dropped their ice chunks off and let them shatter. Team Ice, they're saving theirs in the back. They've got a plan. And if you're new to this, I will tell you, I never had any idea what these teams are going to carve. They keep it a closely guarded secret. They don't tell each other. They don't tell me. And you're going to be the judges. So pay close attention, because when we're finished with this, you're going to decide who walks away with the Golden Chainsaw. Only one team can win tonight, Team Fire or Team Ice. It's going to be Team Ice, Dave. Is it going to be Team you Ice? Keep <laughs> two I, I'm saying Team Ice. I think Team Fire has something to say about that. I'm not too sure. 
Look at that. Holy cow, we've got major pieces of ice coming down on this stage. That's why we call the front row the avalanche zone. You're probably going to catch shards of ice if you're standing too close. The freak Danny Bloss. You're safe as long as you're behind the booth, though. <laughs> right. The freak Danny Bloss is giving some support. Chunks of ice. Hand them out. Ice going to those that are rooting for Team Ice. That's a fun right? souvenir for somebody. Take home that chunk of ice right there. Comes another one. All right, the doctor's up here piercing into the carving with a chainsaw. Look at that, taking pieces out. Another one falls down and crashes to the stage. The freak Danny Ball is helping out the Nivenator as he's taking huge pieces off of this one. These teams have a plan tonight. So in round one, you're going to see one carver up and the other carver's playing support. Same for round two, they'll switch out. In round three, it's a battle royal up here. Everybody's going to be working. Ice is going to fly. It's going to be crazy. And they are getting it done because it's only 10 minutes that they I know. have. And they are deeply into this first one already. That's right, they are. They have never done three 10-minute rounds. We have shaved a full 15 minutes off of their carving time. And so they've got to work quick. Six and a half minutes. Six and a half. The time is going really fast. The Nivenator's over here getting some advice from Dean the Dragon. Looks like the Doctor's up here taking some more pieces off. And Blockheads, I will tell you, as they take more off, especially over here, they compromise the structure. And you might be wondering, do these ever break before they're done? Absolutely. We've seen it many, many times. Sometimes they have ways to repair them. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they take big risks and the audience loves it and they get rewarded for it. That's going to be up to you. You're the judges tonight. The Nivenator working from the backside, taking more big pieces off of the side of this. He's taking a lot off the top. As we get through this, we're going to be asking what you think they're making. Have you figured it out yet? Yeah, that's right. Have you started to think yet? Team Fire has some sort of plan where they wanted a lot of this ice gone. You know, when this, before they started carving it away, you were looking at just about one ton of ice on this stage, but they are reducing that quickly. We already have a lot of ice out here in the front. The ice keeps flying, and they, I don't know, it looks like a mouth there. I don't know. I'm seeing a mouth. Are you seeing a mouth on ice? What are we seeing over there? What are we seeing over there? Who's got an idea? Somebody tell Eric. What are you seeing over there? Coming up on 3.30 left. Coming 3.30 on 3 .30 left to go. Left. And Team Ice is saving more pieces back here. Yeah. They are still storing more pieces yeah. while Team Fire just keeps kicking it all off the stage. Let's root on Team Ice. Let's hear it for Team Ice out there. Where's the Team Ice fans? Where are you at? Okay. Show some love out there. Let's hear from Team Fire. Where's all the Team Fire support? Ooh. Oh, let's hear more Ooh. ice. More okay. ice. More okay, okay. It's sounding pretty split down the middle right now. I think as we get into round two and halfway through round three, that's going to start to uh, shift one way or the other. Let's hear it for all the carvers, but particularly Team Ice. Let's hear it for them. Make some noise for these carvers. They will come here and do battle for you no matter the weather, no matter what it's like. Under a minute, Dave. Under, Under one, one minute. minute. All right, give me a 30-second mark, and we're going to start counting them down. And Blockheads, you're going to help me count those last few seconds, and we're going to go all tools down. Then I want to hear from this audience a little bit what we think we're seeing come together up here. I cannot tell for the life of me where we're headed over here. I think I have a, a, some idea over here, but I'm not going to guess too early because... Uh, Eric the Animal always has a way of pulling out a surprise. 30 seconds, Dan. 30 seconds, Carvers. 30 seconds on the clock. We are going to go tools down for round one, leaving them only 20 minutes. 20 Eric, seconds. 20 seconds. Eric, if you handed me tools and a block of ice in 20 minutes, you're not going to get a carving of any kind. 15. 15 seconds. We're coming we're to the final 10. 10 9, 9 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Tools down. That is the end of round one. Carver's tools down. Give them a big round of applause. The Nivenator coming down off that slippery stool. We'll give the uh, Carver's just a couple of seconds here.
to kind of talk to each other, formulate their game plan, decide who's going to pick up tools for round two. All right, now, Eric, I think we have somebody stepping in over there on your side, right, for the next segment? We do. Keith. Keith from G1013 stepping in. Welcome, Keith. What's going on, Dave? Long time no see, my friend. <laughs> it's been too long. All right, are you getting ready for round two over there, Keith? Let, let's do this. All right, let's start round two. I think our carvers are ready. Carvers, are you ready? Ready. Blockheads, are you ready? Yeah. Let's give them a five second count in and go tools back up for round two. Reset the clock to 10 minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Tools off. There's round two getting smashed by Wild Man Ryan. Ryan. Let's go, Team Fire. We've had Team Ice up on the mic all night long. Let's hear it from Team Fire. He's repping Team Fire. He, he does not appreciate it. And Eric the Animal is making the cane a part of their sculpture, whether they want it or not. And I've never seen anybody hit another ice fighter with a chainsaw. We got a shovel fight yeah. happening hey, back here. Hey, Dave, you know, there are all sorts of shenanigans that go up there on the stage every yeah. single yeah, year. Yeah, there are. We're, we're really counting on you to kind of police it up there, okay? No, that's a bad that's a bad thing. No. Don't count on me because I'm not stepping in the middle <laughs> of chainsaws and shovels being, being swung at each other. That's not happening. I am just the announcer. I am not the uh, the police. You wait. I'm not the referee. <laughs> I'm not the referee. I don't know. I'll get you a striped shirt and a yellow flag, buddy. <laughs> Uh, it, you know, once they're up here, whatever happens, happens. However, they have to win. I let them be. I let them duke it out. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. I'll tell you this, Richmond. You know, we do this all over the country. I have been with these carvers in ten cities around the country, and nowhere do we go that has this big, this loud, and this much of a supportive crowd as you guys. So make some big noise meltdown because you truly are the premier audience, the premier crowd, the premier festival. I'm telling you, this is where it's at. We have been everywhere from San Antonio, Texas, to different parts of Indiana. We have flown different places to do this. Nowhere have I seen this kind of festival and this kind of audience and this kind of participation. So you guys are holding it down. This is where it's at, right here in Richmond. Sammy Ice is up on top of this carving. This one, I think we could get a lot of guesses on. This one's coming together. This one over here is still a little on the ambiguous side, but I think we got a whole bunch of detail that's going to be coming out for you blockheads here pretty soon. And is this piece here going to stay or go? Your guess is as good as mine. I can't tell. Oh, and Sammy Ice is over here. She's piercing in and, like, kicking some pieces out. That's actually pretty impressive to watch with a chainsaw. You know what, Keith? Sammy Ice was a rookie just, like, two years ago. It was her first time right, here. Right, right. And Look now, oh, she's Look teamed up with Eric the Animal, and she's doing some amazing work. So she has come a long way in a short time. And our last fight, she was part of Team Rookie that took home the golden chainsaw. Yeah, well, let's see how she does. She's got about 635 left on the clock. Ooh, 6.35 on the not, clock. Not a lot of time. Not a lot She's of time. She's working on the inside here, trying to take some more out of that. Yeah, that's really taking shape, and I've got some guessers up here, Dave. Oh, I want to hear that, and then I got big news for you guys out there. Go ahead. All right, what do you, what's your name? Ella. Ella, what do you think Team Fire's got going on over there? I have no clue. It looks like a man now. It's starting to take shape. Looks like a person. Yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. What's your name? Audrey. Audrey, what do you think they have going on over there on Team Ice? A chameleon. A chameleon. That's, That's a pretty good guess. Pretty good guess, I'm thinking. Okay. Team, you said you had some news. I've got big news for you guys. So Team Fire has pulled out a huge block back here, and they're working on it. <laughs> the Nivenator is trying to keep it a secret. Now, Team Ice has been hoarding small pieces and carving it, but Team Fire just brought out a huge sled. You got here, nothing to see, nothing to see back here. Don't worry about it. Supported roll. Supported roll. That's just supported pieces. Gotcha, gotcha. Dean's always full of surprises. Uh, I'm telling you. So, so Dean, you know, Dean and the three, they've been here every year, and they know, they know Eric the Animal hates to lose. Yeah. I'm not telling you guys the truth. This guy gets in a bad mood for the rest of the night when he loses. And they know that. And there's nothing they would love more tonight than to egg him into winning the, the gold chainsaw. So you know they brought extra things back here. You know they're ready to go. So uh, we got one giant piece back here being carved and several small pieces. So these are far from complete. How are we looking on time, Steve? Dave, we have got four minutes and 30 seconds left. We are already under halfway through round two. 
Well, these, these carvers are really having to hurry tonight. Well, I've never really seen them. Up there, though. They are. They I've are. never seen them at this pace before. They are really flying through this. And you guys can see it's actively melting as it sits up here. Not good for the structural integrity of any of these pieces when they're actively melting as they sit here. They are both working at it feverishly and already down to just, you know, that last round is going to be complete mayhem up here. I would be safer out there with you, Blockhead, because... Yeah, be careful up there, Dave. <laughs> round three is going to be absolute havoc on this stage. Because everybody's going to be working at once, and they're going to be working fast, and pools are going to be flying everywhere. I hear that crowd rant. Are you yeah, guys cheering for Melty the Moose? Melty the Moose, let's hear it for Melty the Moose. All the way from Alaska, the official mascot of the Richmond Meltdown Winter Ice Festival. We love seeing you, Melty. We're glad you're here, buddy. We're we are under a minute, Dave. Under one minute. Give me a 30-second warning, and then we're going to count them down together, Blockheads, for the end of round two. The Freak Danny Bloss and Eric the Animal, they've been physical since we said go. They're still fighting up here. Eric the Animal's trying to keep things safe for his teammates. All right, we've got 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. Eric's doing a great job of keeping the floor clean around Team Ice. Team Fire is a different story. There's a lot of slush and ice up here to slip on. Yeah. All right, both of these carvings are coming along seconds. really well. We've got one more 10-minute round, and then you Ten guys are going to decide. 10 seconds to go. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, tools down, carvers, tools down. Oh my goodness, all right. I want to talk to some of these carvers really quick before we go into the third and final round. Danny Boss, come over here for a second. You got a second to talk to me? No, he does not. Who, who has a second? Nivinator, you come here. You guys are going into the third and final round. Do you feel like you're in a position to finish this up and get the votes from the Blockheads for the win? I got the greatest team on this stage. Ooh, all right, good words, my man, good words. Good luck to Team Fire. Who wants to come talk to me from Team Ice, Sammy? Sammy Ice, come over here. Do you feel like you guys have done enough work? You got things teed up. You got 10 minutes. Can you take home the Golden Chainsaw tonight? You feel good about it? They don't even know. Eric's about to start. They're going to be mind blown. Eric does actually have an Olympic medal in ice carving. Just a, just a few. Yeah. Just a few. Yeah, all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a new announcer over there in the tent who's joining us now. All right, I'm going to send it over to Dave from Kicks 96. Welcome, Dave from Kicks 96. Good to have you, buddy. Good to be here, Dave. Another fellow Dave up on That's stage. Right. That's That's the, you know, we got to keep the Dave population <laughs> That's up. That's right. Keep the so Daves good. going. Yes. All right, it's time for the third and final round. We've given them a couple of minutes to get ready. Blockheads, are you ready? This is our final 10 second countdown for the third and final round. So we gotta make it big and loud. We gotta cheer these carvers on because they gotta go fast and furious. Let's start it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wild Man Wyatt on the round three. Let's go. That's how we do it at the Meltdown Winter Ice Festival. The three has been smashed. The blocks are up. The fight's going down. Everybody is working now. Sammy Ice and the doctor are in the back working on the supplemental pieces. Eric the animal is up on top. Eric can work fast. And Eric can put a lot of detail into that sculpture. Ice is flying once again, Dave. We got some more guesses yeah, over let's here. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What's your name? Maria. And uh, what's your guess? Uh, fire and made in and I'm And who do you think is doing better right now? Fire. Oh, okay. Well, she, she has the wrong answer, but I like her spirit. I hear that crowding <laughs> more and more of that fire side. Let, let's kind of pull the crowd really quick. Where's my team fire fans right now? Okay, sounding good. Where's my team ice fans? Team right ice got to represent. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Pick up that noise. Okay. So, you know, Keith, or excuse me, Dave, the loyalty could change. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You could have been saying team one or the other the whole time and then see what's finished and go, oh, man, I'm voting for that one. And it could melt away just as fast as the ice is. I, when I was up near the stage, I saw some of those sculptures. They're starting to kind of melt away they a little are. bit. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, dripping going on, a lot of pooling of water up here, and that could start compromising structural integrity and make it really difficult to add all of these extra pieces that are up here. That and give a hand there. for the camera crew out here documenting. Yeah, let's start give a, a hand. sloppy out. Go ahead, stage. 
Yeah, it's treacherous out there. I'm telling you, we've got the best winter ice festival there is. People come out no matter what. We'll deal with the weather. We'll make it work. We've got the best ice carvers in the country up here. Look at that. We've got the Freak Gang Boss and Team the Dragon going on this piece at the same time with the chainsaw and the dribble. You know what, though? I like that Team Fire is doing a good job of keeping this a surprise until the very end, right? Oh, they've, absolutely. They've clearly got a big reveal coming in, at some point or in some way, and I think they've got this set up to blow your socks off, Blockheads. That's, that's what I think. Oh, Eric the Animal's doing some really cool work up here. He's got a really cool Seven tool. minutes remaining. Seven minutes to go. He's piercing into this uh, ice carving. The whole thing is shaking a little bit, which is really dangerous. And he's like uh, poking holes, but not all the way through. That's uh, really cool to watch up here. Maybe they're poking holes in the competition. What do you think, Team Ice? Give Team Ice some love out there. Come on, let's go. Let's hear it for Team Ice. And, and Team Fire, I guess, is doing okay, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Give it up for Team Fire. These ice carving veterans come here every year. They love visiting Richmond. They make the trip. They all get their plane tickets and head this way. They always have so much fun, and you guys always take such good care of them. They feel like rock stars when they're here, and we're so thankful they keep coming back. And the blockheads are rocking in the weather. Give That's yourselves right. a hand, too. You guys are awesome. I tell you, there's no place else, Dave, where we just get a big crowd, and no matter what the weather is, everybody being loud and cheering them on. Always rallying around a good time, absolutely. That's right. That's right. Look at this, we got uh, the Divinator back here doing some very, We're very past the halfway point, half the halfway point left. He's doing some really delicate detail work on this back piece. And, you know, we've, we've got, what, five minutes left in total, and I have I have seen no one attach anything to these pieces yet, Dave. They're all still back here. So I, don't I know. think we're keeping them guessing until the very last yeah. moment here. I don't know what the plan is for all these pieces when we've got five minutes and none of them have been attached. So I'm really anxious to see when that happens and how it happens. Because once we stop the clock, if, you're, if your extra piece doesn't hold, that's it. It's not going on. And we've had that happen many times. So it's getting pretty dicey uh, when it comes to adding these extra pieces on. Professional level effort here, but effort only gets you so far if the blocks don't stay together. All right, Eric the Animal is doing some awesome detail work at the top. Here comes the Freak with a huge chunk of ice. Wow. That's what the people wow. love to see. Yeah, right? That was a lot of ice. They didn't need that. That leaves them with their piece here in the back. What's our time look like, Dave? Closing in on three minutes remaining. Three, three minutes. minutes. There are extra pieces still to be attached. There are things still to be done. Can our carvers get it done in three minutes? Because blockheads, you're gonna decide. Eric the Animal working feverishly. The doctor's back here waiting to step in for his part. And oh, the Freak Danny Bloss is lighting a blowtorch. So is Nibinator. He's lighting a blowtorch off of Danny's blowtorch. Okay, serious. It is very serious. If something's gonna fall, this is when it's gonna happen because now we're taking over 400 degrees of fire to already melt the ice. Wow. All right. Under two and a half. Under two and a half minutes. I'm trying to stand in the safest spot available. Look at look at them blowing fire at each other. I don't think the freak Danny Bloss has any facial hair left after that. Dave, do you get hazard pain being up there? <laughs> no, no. I just, I just get uh, the fur on my hat singed off is all that really happens. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at this, Eric the Animal. Oh, he looks, he tried the custom carving. Two a piece. minutes, two, two minutes. Wow. He was, he was in the back custom carving a piece to fit into that. Now, if he can make that work in two minutes, whoa, that's gonna be a big deal. Coming down to the last seconds, very final adjustments being made on both of these carvings. Holy cow, the pace up here is insane. I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way. This is the fastest they've ever had to move this whole over here for Team Ice is shaking as they're all working got it together. Team the Dragon is trying to... Uh, one back. minute! One minute! One minute! This has the set. This has got the set for them. Wow. Trying to move out of the way. We are down into crunch time Look for at sure. this. Unbelievable. Here comes the Doctor with some fire on Team Ice side. Wow. The Freak Danny Boss, by the way, working with his bare hands on this fire. The Nibinator on the back trying to do a little more carving at the last second. 
30 seconds. 30 seconds, Carvers. 30 seconds. There is no safe place on this stage right now. There is no safe place up here. The free is trusting the Nipimator to push a chainsaw through this carving. His hand is right there. Oh, and now Dean the Dragon's reaching in. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is it all. Tools down, Carver's tools down. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, no shaking. Eric the Animal said don't shake the stage. And oh, we smashed the guitar. Team Fire has smashed the nice guitar. That now, means no encore, I think. That's a meltdown first right there. Team Fire smashed an ice guitar on stage. That was pretty epic, guys. I gotta hand it to you there. Wow, Blockheads, give it up for both of these teams. Great job. Wow, and the work they got done in three 10-minute rounds, that is phenomenal. Freak, come on over here, buddy. We didn't get to talk to you earlier because you were working so fast. It is gonna be time to take this to the boat with the Blockheads. How do you feel about your chances tonight? I feel great. My grandkids are watching online in Minnesota, so hi to all of them. Dean the Dragon, come here, my man. We're about to wrap this up. You've been here so many years. Thank you for returning again. Tell Team Fire to cheer you on, man. Come on, Team Fire. Show us what you got. I know we're not just over here. I know we got some Team Fire over here. Show us. Great work tonight. And the Nibinator, come on over here for a second. What a feverish pace tonight. How'd that feel working so fast with these guys? You know, it's like butter when you're working with the greatest team on the stage, man. Thanks, Nibinator. Give it up for Team Fire, Blockheads. Sammy Ice, come on over here for Team Ice. Team Ice! Yeah! yeah. That was a fast yeah. pace. That was crazy. This extra piece was nuts. How'd you feel doing all that? It's the best day ever. This was the best day ever, even before you win? Uh, well, no, when I won, but I'm thinking about now, and I'm thinking about taking that chainsaw home. Okay. All right. Are right. you feeling good about your chances? Oh, yeah. All oh. right. Thank you, Sammy. Thanks for being here again. The doctor, come on over, my friend. Thanks for being here tonight. Great work. Give it up for the Dr. Blockheads. Yeah! How are you feeling tonight about your sculpture versus Team Fire? I'm doing, I feel really confident. I mean, the composition is, is awesome. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for your work tonight. That was great. You guys were hustling. Thank you. And last, but certainly not least, the rock star himself, Eric the Animal, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Eric, you guys gave it your all. How do you feel? All right, we're pushing the envelopes here. <laughs> you are. How long before that comes down? Three minutes? Four? I don't know. It depends on if Danny Voss starts jumping around or not. Oh, oh that was an invitation. <laughs> All right. Fighters line up. Team Fire, Team Ice. The Blockheads are going to decide right now. Now, Blockheads, we're only going to do this one time. So you make as much noise as you can for the carving that you want to see win tonight. I'm going to go by your participation and decide who goes home with the Golden Chainsaw. Let's start with Team Fire. Yeah! All right, that was awesome. That was awesome. All right, this is going to decide it all. Give it up for Team Ice. I'm gonna tell you, that was close. That was close. And I think the Golden Chainsaw goes to Team Ice. Blockheads, give it up for all these fighters. If you wanna hang out, they would love to meet you, take a photo, get pictures of these carvings. Team Fire, Team Ice. Dean the Dragon, the Nivinator, Eric the Animal, the Doctor, the Freak Danny Bloss, and Sammy Ice putting on a show for you. Melty, thanks for being here. And Dave, Eric, Keith, you guys did a great job. Thank you for having us. It was a blast. It was a blast. Can't wait to do it again. Can't wait until next year. Thank you to all the Meltdown sponsors for being a part of this amazing show. We hope you have a great weekend. Be safe.